Hey, thanks for jumping on the call. So the time has come. It's time for you to start applying for jobs. Uh, you know, a career in web development. And I realized that applying for jobs can be really stressful. It's a time where a lot of self-criticism can come into play. And after teaching people and helping people jump into the field for over a decade, I've observed some patterns in human psychology of the ways in which people start doubting themselves, um, sort of the common anxieties and panics that I've seen in, uh, emerge patterns. So I want to help you avoid those common pitfalls. And so I just wanted to jump on this call and share some of that advice with you. Well, the biggest thing that I've observed that everyone does, myself included, uh, is human beings tend to devalue anything that we've already learned and mastered. So what I mean by that is, Let's take like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Before you know those things, they seem hard or challenging. Uh, and you're like, wow, those must be valuable skills. Wow, those must be in-demand skills. And then as soon as you learn them, as soon as those are the skills that you're comfortable with, and you've set your sights on new, more advanced skills that you want to learn, now all of a sudden you've completely in your mind devalued HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you start assuming that everyone in the whole world knows those things. And so they must not be valuable. They must not be worth anything because everyone knows them, right? Just like everyone knows the alphabet, everyone knows HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Uh, well, I'm here to tell you that that's not true. Most people don't know those things. They're incredibly rare in the grand scheme of things. You know, just think back to where you were a few weeks or a month ago. You didn't know the first thing about HTML and CSS and JavaScript and Git and databases and APIs and you know, working from a reference design, and all of that was new to you, and it seemed maybe scary or out of reach. Well, now it's not out of reach. You know it. So that's the first thing that I want you to focus on is stop devaluing what you know. It's still just as valuable today now that you know it as a month ago when you didn't know it. It didn't lose any value. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. The reason I bring this up is because I've seen a lot of people who, you know, I don't know for whatever reason, they can't, they're having a difficult time getting their first job in the industry. And they tell me, Brad, I can't get a job because I don't know technology A, B, or C, right? Like they're inventing in their mind the reason why they can't get a job. Uh, and I'll let you in on a secret. They list really advanced skills and technologies that I don't know, um, that my that all my friends that have really lucrative developer careers don't know, um, that senior developers don't know, that managers of entire development teams don't know. And so... The other piece of human psychology that's at play here is when something is like one inch out of reach, just one inch out of our grasp, we tend to act like it's a million billion miles out of our reach. Like I do this, we all do this, but sometimes something can, it's okay to accept the fact that something might just be a little bit out of your grasp, a little bit out of your reach. So don't start just because something is a little bit of a stretch goal doesn't mean you need to start building it up in your mind to be this insurmountable challenge, right? So you don't need to learn super advanced topics. I'm promising you right now, the skill set that you have right now, this very minute, combined with a positive attitude is enough. So many development teams would love to have you on their team. You could provide immense value and be of immense service to people with the exact skill set you have today. Now, let's talk about that. I'm not saying that you don't need to continue to grow and learn more advanced things over time. You just don't need to learn them right now, today. You are ready to get your first job. And what I mean by that is remember the very first goal that we talked about on our very first call. We said the goal is not to become a guru and then get a job. The job is to learn, the goal is to learn just enough to get a job and then start learning on someone else's dime. There's no substitute for the 10,000 hours to put in until you have some real, you know, expertise or mastery over any field. But the idea is that you don't need to do it on your own dime. So you've done the hard work. You've worked through all of these calls. You've taught yourself so many things. You and I have worked through so many technologies. You've done the hard work. Uh, now it's time to continue to learn on someone else's dime. You have enough skills to get your first job. Being a developer is a marathon, not a race. You're going to continue to learn new technologies for years and years to come, but it's not as if you need to learn all those things until you can get your first job. You are ready today. Let me phrase it another way. Uh, the burden is not all on you. The world will meet you halfway. I think your burden is a lot, your burden to carry is a lot lighter than you might think it is. Let me explain. So 
it might feel like right now your burden is really heavy and you're like, oh, I need to learn this, this, and this. I'm not ready to get a job. There's like 10,000 more really difficult things that I need to keep learning. And you've got this like 50 metric ton backpack of burden and it's just really heavy. Take that backpack off. I want you to feel really, your burden is very light right now. Light as a feather. The only thing you need to do, your only burden, your only responsibility in terms of your career as a programmer is to stay calm, to stay living in a place of gratitude, of a little bit of enjoyment, of a little bit of peace and serenity, right? Remember we talked about like finding your joy, whether that's headphones or music or a mechanical keyboard or whatever. You, if you're just coming from a place of positivity and gratitude, the world is gonna meet you halfway. The burden is not all on you to become an expert before you get your first job. Your skill set is in demand, okay? If you combine what you know today, right this very minute with a positive attitude, there is a development team that will want you. And once you start getting that first paycheck as a developer, you start building out a client's vision, a project, you start seeing your identity not as uh, a burden, not as someone that needs to learn 50,000 more things. You start seeing your identity as a creative person that's working hard, that is serving others, that is of use to, in so many applications that, and that is providing value to the world. You have all the technical skills that you need. Please take a deep breath. Take that heavy backpack off. The burden is not on you. You just need patience and your current skill set is enough. You are enough today, this very minute. I really believe that. I've seen all the things you've learned and powered through and grasped on, on all these calls that we've worked through. I've, th I've seen the things that you've built. I've seen how far you've come. I've seen the adversity you wanted to give up, but you didn't. I'm so proud of you. I know for a fact that you are going to do amazing things. You've got this. I know you do. I have to run for now, but I wish you all the best. Let's catch up again sometime soon. And until then, take care. The clip you just watched is the final video in my brand new 22 hour online coding bootcamp course. You can find a link in the description for this video to see the topics that we learn and get immediate and lifetime access to the full course. Until next time, take care.